Right, cold man. It's gonna be cold, isn't it? It's the uh, time of year and all that, but I've got my woolly hat on to, to make up for it. Um, also got loads of layers on. We'll talk about the layers when we get driving in a sec. But today, um, big day today actually. Today I'm gonna to go pick up uh, Ricky from his house and today is the day that Ricky gets his new car. Right, welcome to another, let's get the heating down, it's actually really warm in it now, another episode of Diary of a Car Trader. If you're new to my channel, I'm Calvin. This is my car diary and basically, these episodes, Diary of a Car Trader, are basically the diary of me, and I'm a car trader, symbols that, so hit subscribe if you're new. Um, moving on from that, right now I'm in the G-Wagon, which I bought recently. It's an, a G-Wagon diesel, which is a bit of an odd thing to buy, really, but it's quite a cool car. It's very practical, very like usable daily, so um, cool car. We're not here to talk about the G-Wagon, though. We're... Um, I'm on my way to go to pick Ricky up from his house. Uh, he lives sort of near London, and um, we're going to pick up his new car. I'm not gonna say what it is yet, because I'm gonna save that. Some of you will already know what it is because you would have seen his video on his channel of him collecting it. If you haven't seen that video, go and check that out. I'll put that in the link in the description below. Um, so, yeah, energy wagon, going there, pick him up. We're gonna go pick up his new car. I've not actually seen it yet myself, but I do know what car it is. Um, and that's it really. Uh, I am wearing a NAFCO 54 hoodie today. Uh, for those that don't know what NAFCO 54 is, in a nutshell, it was a big brand. If you were like 30 years old and you lived in England, or 30 years old upwards and you lived in England in the 90s, you'll definitely know what NAFCO 54 is. Hold on a minute, hold on. Let me just hold that. I've done a little launch video for NAFCO 54. Let me just, let me just show you that video quick. Check this out. brand back then and me and my brother Leon we bought it recently and we're planning to relaunch it very soon in fact if it is currently been launched by the time this video goes live I'll put a link to the website in the description below as well so you can go and spend loads of money on Christmas presents for yourself and all your family um, that's it for this little section I'm gonna hit the motorway now head down towards London and we'll go see Ricky Welcome Ricky back on the channel. Yes, thank you for having me back man. <laughs> thank you for picking me up and taking me to collect the new car as well. Yeah man, that's alright. I'm, I'm excited about it. This is a big day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah man. Everyone's been waiting for a while. Obviously it's been months since I ain't had a car, so... I was going to say that. I think we, we, I think we should touch... You sold my car, didn't you? Yeah, I sold... So basically, uh, Ricky's car journey. Ricky had a, an M3, an F80 M3. He then, because of the channel, he wanted to keep a car and he wanted to... Is it, yeah. I'd say you threw up some cash. Yeah, yeah, basically. So yeah. basically, like this guy is so dedicated to his channel. So um, <laughs> yeah, so I went to an, a V8 E90 M3, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I sold that for you about six months ago, maybe longer. Yeah, probably a little longer. Yeah. 
and he's been without a car since and today I don't want to I know a lot, <laughs> I can't really say much can I because yeah. but a lot of people would have already seen your video um so Ricky's video would have gone up before this video do you know what? we was going to make it a bit of a surprise but it kind of it's kind of stupid to make it a surprise you my ev channel's already going <laughs> everyone would have already seen it on your channel so the car is well, John you, you tell me a bit about the car because yeah, I, still so have, I still a, haven't seen it yeah so it's an M4 competition 2018 model brand new brand new zero miles on the clock got loads of stuff happening with it that I'm not gonna let everyone know yet but, but you yeah I bought it with the intentions of being silly with it but yeah yeah no nah, the M4 so like I'm a massive fan of the F80 M3 um, and I would have chosen an M3 but you can't get the same deal as you can get on the M4 well, because they, the, the M3 they've stopped the production they've stopped making them now haven't they yeah you can buy them still like probably from BMW but you can't or you can't spec them just uh, whatever's there you can right yeah so that's why you went for the M4 yeah and a deal, the deal, like, it was, the deal a lot, was better it was a lot, lot better yeah if I search around I might have been able to get close but uh, yeah, I'm happy, man. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. <laughs> you smashed it. Like you've come from, like you've worked hard at your channel, been on it for all these yeah. for years now, isn't it? On it, and I got my plates as well. Got my um, plates from uh, Full House Customs. Tinted front, tinted rear. Everyone's gonna be fussing Shout about the tints. Shout out Full House Customs. Yeah. And um, so yeah. you're ready, ready. How many cars have you got? You just buy cars left, right, and centre, didn't you? Oh, I don't, man. Man pulled up in a G wagon. Do you think I've got a bit of a problem? Mate, you have, I think. <laughs> I don't know, I think you're just making excuses to buy cars. Oh, I don't. I've got this, like, I call it I call it a lorry load list. <laughs> it's not even a bucket list anymore. I've got so many cars that I want to get. Mm. Just working my way through the list. Yeah, no, no, wicked, man. And I see you've got your NAF jumper on. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I've, not even, oh, no, I've done a little chat about it on the way down here. Yeah, so I've got NAFCO 54. This is your new brand, isn't this it? This is a new brand. Purchase. Yeah, yeah, so... I was trying to get it into the high street and that. Yeah, trying to. <laughs> Hopefully, it's hopefully, nice, without saying too much, uh, but we'll see how we get on with that, yeah? Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what the future's got to hold for this brand. Oh, yeah, you just buy too many cars, man. I think we're going left. Are we? Yeah. Because it's cool, yeah. it's covering the sat now. <laughs> Danny's flying around in the back. Calvin and his dodgy driving. Oh, hold on, we're going left again? Left again, yeah. That's it, the phone will stop ringing now. Um, yeah, so what, we're nearly here now? This is it, man. What were you saying? Active, that's all I've got to say. You've got, got to see me out and about all over Instagram, pure Instagram stories, M4 game. Yeah. What was the most, like, the most talked about car on your channel? Like, what, what did people expect you was going to get? M4. What, really? Yeah, so it's a BMW? Expect, they'll expect an M3 or an M4. But you've got to remember, my channel is very mixed, so. You know, at the moment, recently I've not been filming many German cars. You've been doing a lot of trap, haven't you? I've been filming random cars. Yeah, yeah. People are like, yes, man, Ricky, Ricky stopped filming German cars. Yeah, yeah. They're probably expecting me to pull out like an Evo or something. But now, this is my daily driver, you know. This needs to, needs to be reliable, man. Comfortable, fast. This is quite fuel efficient as well. It's twin turbo. Um, a lot of talk, so it's effortless, you know, to build revs. So the things that you're planning to do to it, do you think are they going to affect the, the that? Yeah, in the long run, yeah. The, the, you know, obviously I haven't said what's getting done, but yeah, some serious mods are getting done, which will probably make everything I said irrelevant. <laughs> <laughs> Inefficient, unreliable, unpractical. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, the reliable cars, man. It's like, I, I'll be honest, I just like to slide out of corners. So, yeah, You're a proper real drive guy, ain't you? Got to be real drive. 
Sick. Oh, I love it. There was a lot of choices, you know, like the Alpha, uh, people were saying the GTR, but you know, it's big money, man. You can't get good deals on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cannot beat the deal I've got on this. So who's what does he write? Let's talk about that. So was it Tony? Tony T R L deals. Yeah. T R L deals. Yeah, and he's, he's basically. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. Yeah. man. Yeah. Wicked. You cannot get a better deal. Um, yeah. So this car is going to be getting ceramic coated. We're also going to be getting a, a, a ghost alarm fitted. Mm -hmm. uh, that's booked in for Monday. Ceramic coated. So that's happening straight away. Ceramic coating is happening straight away. Yeah. Um, Wheels potentially coming in suspension. Really? So the compact wheels are going? Yeah, everything's going. Really? Yeah, man, it's weird. I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, capturing and angling, it's hard. I think all this light reflecting on it's not doing this car massive justice. What? And these come with the, like, black and chrome wheels as well, normally. So yeah, yeah. Uh, a bit more angry, normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which it's, I suppose. It's off the black, it's not. Doing it justice. It's a subtle looking car, but that ain't like you wanted the right base car to sort of spec up and do what you do your bits to it, didn't you? And it's the right base car to go for, isn't it? Where's the 2018 model? You get different LED lights in the rear. Yeah, the back light from the back it looks so good, doesn't it? I'm gonna run this about front plate, I think. Got to be done. Big criminals put a front plate on it, wouldn't it? <laughs> so it's got the iconic headlights as well. So this is like a 1500 pound option. Mm -hmm. Um, so like normally you have the angel eyes on the M cars, but these are like hexagons. Yeah. So as you can see, it's like, they look sick. Daytime running as well. And then in the interior, you've got like the different seats. The competition pack's got different seats and they? they've got the yeah. colours through the seat belts. Uh, That's weight saving. <laughs> a little bit of weight saving going on. Yeah, man, this is me. Well done, man. Well done. Job done. Um, that's all right, isn't it? Let's just flip the screen around, make sure we're good. We're good. It's very dark though, isn't it? Um, Ricky has got a brand new competition pack BMW BMW M4. Now, start the engine, get the heat seat on. I think like, I talk about it a lot. Which like which car I would, I would get as an all-round car, and I always I always get asked that question. And there's, it's hard finding something that ticks all the boxes. I don't think there's any such thing as a perfect all-round car, but um, a BMW M3 or an M4, I think they almost put it off. They are like, they're bloody good looking. Uh, the M3's obviously got four doors. They've got a decent sized boot. They're not a big V8, which I know a V8 is ideal, but if you're running a V8 daily, is a is a bit of an expense so going for a c63 is a, probably a bit too much whereas a, a six cylinder engine mentally i just feel like that's a bit more of a a bit lower maintenance and a bit i don't know cheaper to maintain cheaper to run so i think and obviously the the, the biggest point is they're tunable you can get loads of power out of them now i hope, I hope you can see me all right should i send that light on and that'd be better um but is, that, is there any lights coming on i don't even know uh, but yeah that is the key point and we all like a bit of power, don't we? So, Rick has got a brand new... Um, oh, the light's there. Is that where the light's are? Ah, they're under there. That's a bit pointless, isn't it? Um, so, yeah, so, power. So, there, yeah, you can get loads of power out of them. And that is obviously the key point. Everyone wants power. So, you can get loads of power out of them. Um, and it's just a bloody good all-rounder, isn't it? So, yeah, Rick has got a brand new... 2018 BMW M4 competition pack, which I think is a bit of a no-brainer. I weren't sure if all of the new M4s just come as a competition pack as standard, but it is still an optional extra, which I think um, if I was getting one, it's a it's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, but for me, I, I, I've had M3s and M4s like come in and out of stock very quickly. I've never had the chance really to have some fun in one, so. I think I've got a, <laughs> that lorry load list of mine is just getting longer I think it's not getting short I keep buying cars but uh, uh, the, the list is still getting longer it should be getting shorter but an M3 for me I think I, a car that I really want to get is an M3 with a competition pack um, but who knows I won't even go down that road um, I'll see if I come across any M3s with competition packs or even M4s I'll, I'll definitely be jumping at buying them so um, if anyone's out to sell an M3 right now, 
specifically an M3 actually, uh, give me a shout, yeah? Uh, I'm gonna head home now because it's getting dark and um, I'm gonna stop the filming because I actually wear glasses in the dark, I can't see too well in the dark and I just don't think, <laughs> it just changes the whole look, doesn't it? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna hit the road, I've got a bit of a journey back, but buried it BMW in, I don't have a clue where I am. There you go, that's where I am. Um, top guys, amazing showroom, customer parking was spot on and obviously the cars are exceptional so um good experience and as for ricky massive i've just said well done to ricky but a massive congratulations to ricky like i, I keep saying it the guy's absolutely smashed it he's done so well with his channel and oh, i've got to leave them lights on and i you can't see me too well sorry i had a car behind me i thought i'd better just get moving and it is getting very dark so like strange it's quarter past four and it's dark um but yeah so Ricky, his channel smashed it, like seriously, not even just the channel, but him himself, you know, he's put a lot of effort into his channel constantly, every time I speak to him he's editing, um, and anyone that's doing well off the back of so much effort deserves credit and respect, so massive respect from me and, and I'm sure lots of people to, to Ricky because, you know, he's there, you know, he's not even there, he's not at destination, the, the destination he wants to be at, but you know, it's slowly starting to pay off and I think all of that effort is um, it's well deserved. So uh, he's now got a BMW M4, he's gonna be doing a lot, obviously a lot of content on it. And uh, so go check his, oh, his stop start. So I don't mind what a stop start, but it's just, I'll just turn it off and on. Just interrupts, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, go check out his channel for content on his M4. And that's it, I'm gonna head home now. I hope you like the video. It's so dark in here. I'm, it's annoying. Um, if you like the video, hit like. Sat nav. If you're new to my channel, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader. All right, see you later. In the next episode of Diary of a Car Trader, I talk a little bit more about the G wagon, and I take the S Class for a service. <laughs>